today we're glad to be talking with the very talented Cameron. How's it going? It's so good, you know, I'm, I'm just having a lot of fun today. I'm glad to hear. So tell us what's new with you with your music career. What have you been working on? Oh, well, um, lately I've been in the studio, you know, recording as much as, much as I can because right now I'm actually on a school tour, which has been amazing as well. Uh -huh. Very nice. And then your new 3D video just came out, your lyric video. Um, tell us about that. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's so cool. Um, actually, you know, there's a lyric version uh, to Set the Night on Fire, which is super cool. And then I have my Wait and See music video, which was amazing to shoot. And, um, I mean, everything's just happening so fast. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. And you got to tell us, do you write your own music? Uh, yeah, I co-write with uh, three other people. Oh, very nice. And then are we going to expect an upcoming album from you? Hopefully in the next year. Okay, great, great. And uh, a lot of fans wanted to know, when did you start singing? Man, um, well, professionally I started around four years ago, but I've been singing my entire life. Mm -hmm. And um, you actually just toured with Cody Simpson not too long ago and Grace and Chance and All-Star Weekend. Um, how did you like working with them? Oh, my gosh. Grayson and Cody were amazing. You know, I really, I hung out with them on and off show time, and they're just super nice and super fun, and All-Star Weekend was great. We played at some fairs, so that was a lot of fun as well. Mm -hmm. And did any pranks go down um, while on tour? Um, no, uh, well, I mean, towards the end more, but, um, yeah, Grayson was a huge fan of Silly String, uh -huh. um, <laughs> and Cody and, um, Cody and I actually both got on stage with each other, um, for each other's shows, so that was really cool. Um, also, we can, I only did two shows with them, so I didn't really get to hang out with them as much, but I'm sure if we ever hang out in the future, you know, it would be fun. That would be fun. And who would you like to see yourself tour with? <clears throat> oh, man, uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> I think that would be amazing, like Demi Lovato. Oh, that would be neat. That's cool. Have you met either of them, Demi or Justin? Um, I actually met Justin Bieber, but I have never uh, met Demi Lovato, but... I really want to. I think she's an amazing artist. Mm -hmm. Do you listen to her music? Um, I do. I, um, I'm obsessed with a new um, album called Unbroken. It's, oh, man, it's amazing. It is. It is. We love it, too. And um, you have to tell us about your 2011 school tour that you're doing now. Um, tell us a little bit more about that. Well, um, right now I'm in Fresno, California, mm -hmm. and um, it's actually my third week. And it's, it's been such a journey. It's crazy, you know, it's, it's not really what I expected it to be. And it's so much fun, you know, getting the actual school experience and hanging out with a bunch of people who are my age and who are really cool. That sounds neat. And before you go on stage, do you have any pre-show rituals that you like to do? Normally, but um, normally I get really nervous before I perform, and um, I, I just normally when I'm you know doing a show, I'm having a lot of fun, and it just becomes really comfortable to me. Absolutely. What's your favorite song to perform on stage? Um, probably "Set the Night on Fire," my new single, mm -hmm. and I think it's, it's the best to perform because you know it, it's very dance song at the song and it's just a lot of just a lot of fun yeah we love that song of yours and um how did you like being in judy moody in the not so bummer summer movie and having your song in there oh my gosh you know i think it was amazing you know actually going in the movie theater and hear, hearing my song it's it was just so crazy you know i never thought that I would actually hear my own songs in the movie theater in front of, you know, playing in front of so many people. It's, it's, it's just amazing. That's so neat. And are you working on a new movie as well now? Actually, um, I just finished filming a movie with Ali Mashanka and um, Sam Trammell from True Blood uh -huh. and um, Amanda Crew from Charlie St. Cloud. And it was so cool, you know, um, they haven't really decided on a title yet, 
But um, it was so much fun to film, and they were so nice. I was on set all the time. It was, it was so cool. Well, can you tell us a little bit about the movie or a little bit about it? The movie? Um, well, the movie is actually very mature. Mm-hmm. And I'm, like, the only kid in the entire movie. But um, it's basically about how this mother kind of falls apart and her family is falling apart. But then in the end, they realize, you know, no matter what happens, you always know that you have your family and you're never really a broken family. Mm-hmm. Well, we're looking forward to that. Hopefully some more um, will come about it so we can hear more about it. Yeah, totally. Sounds great. And then you have to tell us about your Twitter, um, which is at Cameron Rocks. How do you like using Twitter? Oh, my gosh. You know, I love, I love Twitter. Like, um, I actually just recently got really, really into it. And um, I love Instagram. But um, it's a great way to talk to fans and, you know, keep in touch with friends around the world. It's just, it's, I think it's a really good tool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do you have a favorite tweet that you've tweeted or someone's tweeted to you? Oh, man, there are so many good tweets out there. Um, I love, I really love all the quotes people retweet or tweet, and I love it when I hear, you know, like, oh, Cameron's coming to my school, and I'm so excited to hear her. Um, can't wait. Love you, Cameron, and just everything. I think it's such a great experience, and I'm just super excited to have so many fans and, and friends, even, and it's just, it's really good. That's cool. And you have um, a Facebook as well and a Tumblr and Instagram that everybody can follow mm-hmm. you on? Yes. Okay, so you pretty much have all of the social media sites. You have everything people can go ahead and look that up? Uh-huh, definitely. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a great way to, you know, connect with your friends around the world. Sounds great. And um, now you have to tell us um, something we may not know about you. So, um, <laughs> man, I don't know that I'm the most craziest person ever. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, probably that I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're very energetic. No, do you, do you have yeah, a, I'm super fun. Do you have a hidden talent? Hidden talent? Um, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I'm good at soccer. Okay. I love to play soccer and um, dancing. I'm pretty good at dancing, but um, <laughs> I'm just kind of starting to get into that. Uh-huh. But it's, I pretty much am willing to try anything. Um, I just I think tennis is fun, and um, I love sports, so I love to be active and athletic. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you have a celebrity crush? Oh, Celebrity Crush, probably Taylor Lautner. Taylor <laughs> Lautner. Did you just see uh, the new Twilight movie? I did. You did. Okay, so I was going to ask you Team Edward or Team Jacob, but I'm assuming Team Jacob then? Yes, for okay. sure. Uh-huh. Very nice, very nice. And uh, how about a favorite fast food restaurant? Um, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite restaurant. I, I, I normally go to Whole Foods, so. Mm-hmm. Nice. And um, how about your favorite TV show and movie? Okay, a favorite TV show probably would be um, anywhere between Glee and Pretty Little Liars. I'm so excited for the new season to start. Yes, I just heard that got picked up for another season. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and movie-wise, I, I don't know. It's really hard for me to like really choose like who's your favorite song, what's your favorite song right now, or anything like that. I don't know. I just I'm kind of confused in that area, I guess. How about Twilight for the moment? Yeah, for sure, yeah. At the moment, yes. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> and is there anything else you'd like to tell your fans out there? Just, you know, never, never stop believing in yourself and don't let follow your dreams no matter what anyone says. Great advice. And then everyone, uh, make sure to see you on tour. And, uh, Definitely. And to follow you on Twitter and um, all your other social media sites as well.